Hello, my little adventurer. Are you ready to go to California? He's in such a good mood. Come on, let's go change your butt. You wanna go change your butt? Okay, close the door, hey, close the door. Alright, let's go. Hi, baby number two. There's Gigi. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Gigi. Oh, who is that? Hi. Oh, go inside. Hi, I'll show you guys today's beautiful outfit. Excited. So we kind of switched, swapped. Our, we're gonna do our girls' day out today. We're going to Daiso and Marshalls and Ross and Big, uh, Big Five, Pig Lots. Um, and I was so scuzzy, you guys. I didn't wash my hair, and so my mom put it in a French braid for me. And I was like, I'll just throw on a little bit of makeup. Full beat. I don't know what happened. Oh, my mom was on the phone, and I was like, well, I might as well take my time. So we just went and got gas, and it's so freaking nice out compared to our 101. It's only 73. Literally like 30 degrees cooler. 30 degrees is a lot. So we're gonna go to uh, Daiso, and we'll see you there.
So we already went to Daiso and we were literally in there for like, I would say 10 minutes, five minutes. It was like not floating our boat. So we went to the 99 cent store, had a really good time in there. And now we're in the dollar store, not to be confused with the 99 cent store. Um, looking at Halloween. Ooh, creepy. And then, no, oh, no Christmas. Um, we're going to Ross and Home Goods after this, and Marshalls. Starbucks. Brittany needs Starbucks. I only got four hours of sleep last night, but we're having a really, really good time. We found some really cool Halloween cards to send out to people. I got to wear a hoodie already, which just makes me so excited. This lighting makes me look so gross. Hey guys, so I don't think I've sk uh, Skyped. Who Skypes anymore? I don't Skype. Um, I haven't <laughs> checked in with you guys since we got home. We got so much stuff. Um, such great deals. And it's been such a long day. I'm exhausted. Nobody took a nap. We're going to hang out the rest of the night. Everyone's going to watch TV. I'm about to take this makeup off. Not blended. Not blended. Um, I did paint my nails. I don't think you can see them. It's uh, that Young Wild and Polish collection that they did that she did last year with Glisten and Glow and Different Dimension. This is called Shifting Camel, but you can't see it as good. Well, lighting is not very good. Um, and we're about to do a mask. Let me show you what mask we're gonna do. Alba Botanica Even Advanced Facial Mask. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna watch TV and go to bed early. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. That was my grandma's roommate. Um, good morning, it is 6.59 on Saturday morning. We all crashed pretty damn early. So naturally, we're up very, very early. Um, my grandma does not, this is gonna sound so bougie, uh, my grandma doesn't have a Keurig or like a pod coffee, a pod coffee maker. And so I have to go to Starbucks. I have to have an iced coffee. I can't do hot. I just can't. I know. I know. Um, trust me, I'm not snobby to where I have to have a Starbucks every day because number one, that's a ton of freaking calories. And number two, Kind of freaking money so literally just gonna go to starbucks today i did have one yesterday but today is my big day it's a very adventurous day you and i are going on an adventure we're going all the way so um for those of you who are not familiar with california my grandmother lives in cyprus which is a little suburb city of Orange County. Um, the very famous Orange County. I know, I'm very lucky that she lives here because it is just one of the best places in the world. I love it here. Um, so that's where she lives and she's very, very, very close to, um, for those of you who have been, she's very close to Knott's Berry Farm and she's very close to Disneyland. She's about in the middle of both of them. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes to get to either one. So it takes longer for her to get to the beach than it does for her to get to Disney or um, Knott's Berry Farm. You think of Orange County and you kind of think of the ocean, but it actually takes her about a good 30 minutes to get to the beach. Uh, well, the beach that I like, which is Seal Beach. Long Beach is really, really, like Long Beach and Seal Beach are right next to each other. Anyways, today, point of the story is that we are going to Burbank which is about an hour away and Burbank is where Morphe and Best Make Cosmetics are. <sighs> I'm so excited and I'm going by myself which California driving isn't the best but I'm hoping because it's Saturday the traffic isn't going to be as insane as if I were would have went yesterday even if the freeway wasn't closed. Um, the freeway that I have to take, which is the five, that was the one that was completely shut down. It was only four car accidents, but the crazy thing about that story 
is that... <coughs> Should I just get out? Oh yeah. That's a good one. How about that? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. you need it. a carrier or are you okay? I'm okay. I appreciate it. Have a great weekend. You too. Get glam AF. I'm gonna do my usual. It's so funny that like um, the big YouTubers have their like go-to glam looks like that they do for events and stuff. And it's funny because I have a look that I basically do every single time. Like something really big and exciting happens, like you know, just things um, when I'm going to certain places. And so that's the look that I'm going to do today. If you guys want to see a tutorial on it, uh, let me know. Let me know. But I think also while we're down there, we're going to go to a really yummy lunch. And yes, <laughs> I do do all of this by myself. Um, I get a very, um, I get a huge satisfaction out of doing things by myself and like accomplishing that task even if it's like terrifying like not terrifying there's nothing terrifying about going shopping for makeup um but california traffic and california freeways are a bit intense and a little bit scary <laughs> so that's all i meant by um that like i get a huge satisfaction like oh my gosh i remember when alana came to visit i wish i would have i really wish i would have vlogged that because when um, I had to take, you know, guys remember, she went, on a sh she went on a cruise. And so I had to drop her off at the LA shipyard. That was the most intense drive I've ever had to take in my entire life. Because it's literally nothing but industrial down there. And you're surrounded by semi-trucks who are going to, like, pick up loads and stuff. Like, there wasn't a ton of, like, civilian traffic down there. Because most people are, like, either staying down there already or getting cabs. Or I don't know if it was the way... That map that the maps told me to go, but it was so intense, and like I was, my palms were sweating, and it was intense. So, anyways, I'm back on my way to Grandma's. I need to go start up my hair. Um, I want to leave the house no later than. I guess I would be okay by leaving by 9, 9.30. It's 7.13 right now, so that only took us 15 minutes. I stopped at Starbucks, and I stopped at the bank. for parking or something. That's another thing. I don't know anything about the parking down there, so we'll see. But I'll see you guys when I'm all glam. I'm right in the middle of uh, getting ready. I'm about to do my makeup, but look at how cute my grandma is. She's listening to swing music. She's outside sweeping her little porch. Like, 77? Girl, get it. Love it. So cute. We are finally on our way. Um, it was a lot longer than I expected to uh, get out of the house, but we won't go into that. Um, I'm on the five. It took me a while to get on here, and. This is the freeway I was telling you guys about yesterday that was completely shut down because of a four car, car I'm Irish now, um, a four car pile up. Yeah, there was just a five car pile up um, and no police and a tow truck trying to get across the freeway and literally nobody was letting them over. Hello? I have a very strong love and a very strong tie to California, SoCal specifically. Um, I've been here my whole entire life, off and on. You guys have heard this story many times. Uh, I do have a lot of newbies, but um, I have a ton of family out here. And so literally every Christmas break, summer break, spring break, I was out here um, visiting family and stuff. And I would spend like the entire summer, you know what I mean, out here. So I am very familiar, I'm very, much in love with Southern California, but these drivers out here are literally the worst. The worst. Well, I don't know. DC was really, really bad too. 
but number one you could see that the cars were stopped and it was in the fast lane which number one they should have pulled off to the side of the road which is exactly it's so funny they literally even said this on the news last night because of this four car pileup and there was a uh, fatality they said if you get into an accident to pull off to the side of the road no these people are all sitting here in the fast lane which is stupidity on its own um, and not knowing the proper rules of driving road rules um, and so that's number one number two you can see them from pretty far back because it's a straight highway and that you need to get over. No, all these cars want to go all the way to the front and then cut off the person all the way up there to where they have to be let in. Like they don't even wait for you to let them in. They like start getting into that lane, you know? So there's another, like you're going to cause an accident. So then after that, you get into that lane and everybody wants to go 10 miles looking at this accident, which is gonna just cause another accident. Girl, I could go on and on about my pet peeves about drivers. Ooh, especially here in California. I don't know why. Like right now, I was literally just going probably 75. Yeah, and now we're at a standstill of 25. And don't worry, I'm not even touching my phone. I launched my camera with Siri just so I could check in with you guys. I probably have another half hour before I get to this marketplace and it's so exciting because, and I didn't know this, my original plan was going to Besame, which if you don't know what Besame is, it's a vintage cosmetics company, um, literally like super vintage. Like I'm talking when makeup was first being made. Oh, I'm passing the Citadel mall <laughs> the outlet center if you know what that is it has like very interesting like egyptian architecture I, for the mall it's really weird but it's kind of like a landmark i'm gonna insert a meme of like driving this is literally me everywhere i go oh anyways it's a vintage cosmetics company and i've always wanted to go um, when Alana came to town and we were like looking for different things to do it was on our list but we just didn't make it over there because where it is in Burbank like um, it was out of the way of what we were going to do it's like downtown LA and we're doing we did like Santa Monica and stuff near Disneyland because that's where they stayed was by Disneyland this has always been on my list and when I was looking at it right across the street is literally Morphe I don't know who was there first, I really don't, but I'm really excited that I get to go to both because it's like a makeup lover's dream. It's like these little boutiques, like you can go to Sephora any day, but going to like these little boutique shops, you know what I mean? Like I think there's only one Morphe and I don't know if there's only one more, uh, one Besame. So I am so excited and remember I was telling you guys earlier, like I'm really excited that I'm doing this by myself because my grandma offered, she's like, you know to my mom do if you want to go I'll watch the baby and I was like no and my mom started laughing she's like she needs Brittany time which I totally do you, all my moms know how rare it is to be completely by yourself with toddlers like my kid doesn't go to school for a couple hours a day where I can kind of take a breath or anything and not that I you know you know how well, you know what I'm talking about not that I need breaks or anything but it's nice when you get one it's very nice so um, I'm going to turn the radio back on because this traffic is on my last nerve. So, yeah. I will see you guys when we get there to the marketplace. Nice and overcast today. Just left Morphe, spent way much, way too much money. So now I'm gonna go to Besame. I'm really excited. It's the 
got my lipsticks all messed up. Just left another vintage store called 1928. It was so stinking cute. Oh, stinking cute. This place is like full of little antique shops and boutiques and stuff like that. So I'm gonna find a restaurant or something where I can go in and go to the bathroom. Pregnant lady has to pee. I'm already gonna go home. I thought it was gonna be a lot more exciting. Like Morphe's line was gonna be out the door and there was literally no one in Bessemer, which is nice. The girls that helped me were really, really nice. The store was absolutely gorgeous, like I knew it would be. Um, went to a very famous cafe called Romancing the Bean. If you're ever on Magnolia, definitely go there. Um, I got a chocolate. It's like the cacao shake. It's healthy. It's not like a chocolate milkshake. It's like has um, spinach and actual cacao. Um, banana, almond milk, chia seeds, I feel like they're all up in my grill, but I'm gonna go home. I have like an hour, an hour's drive ahead of me, so I'm gonna get going. I was totally on my way home and past a Hollywood Halloween Town costume shop. I need to find Aiden's costume for this year. If I can't find it anywhere, it's gonna be here for sure. Literally the best Halloween shop, there was three of them, I've ever been in in my life. There was a zero tolerance policy for filming though because I don't know why. Um, decorations, like, it was like real Hollywood costumes and decor. I mean, I spent way, more than I needed to for a freaking two-year-old's Halloween costume, but it was exactly what I wanted and I've been looking for it everywhere and I couldn't find it. Not online, not in store, so I have Aiden's costume, thank God. Um, I'm gonna keep it secret for now because I'm really excited about it. I'm also really excited how my hair turned out today. I haven't been having really good hair days lately, so pretty pleased. It's probably because I washed it. So I'm gonna head home. I'm like so much more. Did you guys see me in the parking lot when I was leaving Morphe and Bessemer? I was like, <sighs> I was leaving and I passed it and I was like, oh my gosh, I should go in there. And I just kept driving and driving for like three blocks. And I was like, Brittany, what are you doing? Flip a bitch, like go. You have no time restraints, like go. And then I found this badass wall full of um, graffitied movie characters and so, I wish somebody was there to take a picture of me, but they weren't, so I took a semi-okay selfie. It's on Instagram, maybe I'll insert it here.
I'm gonna go home. I'm so excited. Love you guys.